The Team America Rocket Challenge is an annual contest sponsored by the Aerospace Industries Association and the National Association of Rocketry. The contest is open to student teams grades 7 through 12 who are sponsored by a school or youth organization. For the 2008 challenge, teams must safely fly a model rocket with a two egg payload to 750 feet with a flight time of 45 seconds and safely recover the rocket without breaking the eggs. Over 7,000 students on 643 teams from across America built and flew their rockets during the past school year to qualify for the final fly-off competition. On May 17th, the top 100 qualifying teams met at Great Meadow in the Plains, Virginia. After arriving at Great Meadow, teams collected their payload eggs, prepared their rockets, and obtained a pre-flight safety check. After passing safety inspection, teams move to the launch fields to set up for their flights. Altitude was measured using an onboard altimeter. As their rockets were loaded on the pads, everyone was careful to ensure their altimeter was working properly. After the rocket was ready, there was one last altimeter check and teams signaled they were go for launch. Launch control was now turned over to the NAR range crew. Range safety. Timers. Here we go. Continuity. Go. Back On up. 10. The team is ready. Six. Here we go. T-minus seven, seven, six, six five, four, four, three, two, two one, one, march. Four, three, two, one, march. Each flight was carefully timed by NAR staff. For several hours, each of the 100 teams flew their rockets. After each flight, teams recover the rockets and take them to a returns area where NAR judges determine altitude, verify the payload eggs are intact, and calculate an overall score.
The 2008 contest was held in two rounds. All teams competed in the first round. The top 18 teams flew a second round. The winner was the highest score of both flights. After teams completed round one and were waiting for the results, everyone at Great Meadow was thrilled by an Air Force B-2 bomber flyby. The crowd was also entertained with a demonstration rocket flight by the visiting United Kingdom team, which won UK's equivalent of TARC, and by a flight of a 150th scale model of the Ares, which is NASA's upcoming next generation of manned space vehicle. Finally, the results were in and posted on the contest results board. The top 18 teams now flew their second flights. Students were competing for over $60,000 in scholarships and other prizes such as a trip to the UK Farnborough Air Show and a chance to participate in NASA's student launch initiative. After the second round was completed, everyone again waited for the computation of the results. This time, the crowd was entertained with the demonstration flights of several high-powered rockets. At last, the final results were in and the 2008 winners were announced. Congratulations to the 2008 TARC Top 10. TARC is intended to motivate students to pursue aerospace as an exciting career field and to simply have fun. For more information about future TARC contests, go to rocketcontest.org.